An Arlington woman has filed a lawsuit claiming excessive force by a Pantego police officer that caused her breast implant to burst. Yeah, this is we're not making this up. She says she was actually in extreme pain and the officer didn't care, something the small town of Pantego refutes. NBC 5's Mola Lange has the story. Rebecca Van Hooser, an Arlington wife and mother, was recently pulled over on Bowen Road in the small neighboring town of Pantego. When the officer learned Van Hooser had a warrant for an unpaid speeding ticket, he arrested her. She gets out of the car and he grabs her, throws her up against the car, kicks, you know, spreads her legs, kicks spreads her legs and grabs her arms and then forcefully pulls them out and yanks them very hard at behind her back. Susan Hutchinson says when the officer allegedly threw Van Hooser against the car, it caused her breast implant to burst. She's screaming in pain, and his response is to the effect of this isn't supposed to be comfortable. Neither is jail. That's where she spent the night. Now Hutchinson says her client is in a prison of pain. She's had a number of surgeries. She had two hematomas as a result, uh, and she's going to have to have a partial mastectomy and um, tissue transplant with... Uh, a new implant. But it's not just what Van Hooser has been through. Hutchinson says it's what police officers should go through. We respect police officers. We're glad that they're out there protecting us. When you arm somebody with a gun and a badge and the authority that they have over people, you have got to train them appropriately and they've got to be able to react reasonably and responsibly. Officials with the town were unavailable for an on-camera interview, but they did say that the town has 100% faith in their police force and that their officers always conduct themselves in the most professional manner. For NBC5, I'm Mola Lenghi. Well, the lawsuit was filed against not just the police department, but the entire town of Pantego. Officials with the town say they have received the suit. The damages Van Hooser is seeking have not yet been determined.